efficacy numbers really just tell you what happened in each vaccine's trial, not exactly what will happen in the real world. But many experts argue this isn't even the best number to judge a vaccine by anyway, because preventing any infection at all is not always the point of a vaccine. The goal of a vaccine program for COVID-19 is not necessarily to get to COVID-0, but it's to tame this virus, to defang it, to remove its ability to cause serious disease, hospitalization, and death. It helps to look at the different outcomes of an exposure to COVID-19 like this. The best case scenario is you don't get sick at all. The worst case is death. In between, there's being hospitalized, severe to moderate symptoms, or having no symptoms at all. In the absolute best circumstances, vaccines give you protection all the way to here. But realistically, that isn't the main objective of COVID-19 vaccines. The real purpose is to give your body enough protection to cover these possibilities. So if you do get an infection, it feels more like a cold than something you'd be hospitalized for. And this is one thing that every one of these COVID-19 vaccines do well. The question isn't which vaccine will protect you from any COVID infection, but which one will keep you alive or out of the hospital? Which one will help end the pandemic? And that's any of them. The best vaccine right now for you is the one that you're offered. With each shot that goes in someone's arm, we get closer to the end of this pandemic. 